What is going on y'all five sports talk back at it with another video talking a little NFL because the NFL season is right around the court and I told you guys as the NFL season approaches I will be bringing you guys the NFL videos and I never like to not deliver so here I am with the NFL content so if you're new to the channel welcome make sure to go ahead and subscribe by clicking the button down below because I do post daily videos and you don't want to miss out and if you don't want to miss out Make sure to also go ahead and hit the bell icon to be notified every time I do make a post. With that being said, also follow me on my social media links down below for my Twitter, my Instagram on the screen as well. We can talk, debate. If you guys want to reach out to me, that's the place to do so. With that being said, you guys see the whiteboard behind me. We're talking about the Bears. We're talking about the Bears quarterback, Mitch Trubisky. Expectations going into year three. I'm going to try and predict his stats, okay? So let's talk about it. I don't want to wait any longer let's get right into it so the bears had a great season last year as we all know one of the top teams in the nfl one of the top records in the nfl won the division and a lot of people are going to attribute that mainly to our defense you know and and we had some obviously great players on the defensive side of the ball of course our beast khalil mack but then guys like eddie jackson also had huge years as well but moving forward the bears future I don't believe there's a single player that holds more in their hands of the Bears' future than our quarterback, Mitchell Trubisky. Because, again, with the defense playing well, we still have to give credit to Mitch last year, who had somewhat of a breakout season from his rookie year. I mean, he made a Pro Bowl, folks. Okay, let's not forget that. Uh, so, Mitch Trubisky, let's talk about year three now. Okay, what do we expect in year three? We need him to take another leap. What are his numbers going to look like? What do we expect from Mitch Trubisky going into year three? Because like I said, the defense, absolutely vital to this team, but the quarterback just as important, if not more. So let's take a look at the board behind me. And as you guys can see on the left-hand side, I've got the totals that Vegas is predicting for the Bears quarterback, Mitchell Trubisky, this coming season. So they're predicting uh, Mitch to throw about 3,700 passing yards, and they've set the passing touchdowns at 26.5. So these are the betting lines right now in Vegas. And just quickly glancing at this, I'm not even going to do the numbers right now. I'll get into it in a second. But just glancing at this, I'll take the over on the passing yards. I'll take the over on the touchdowns, okay? To me, these are easy bets. I would take the overs on both of these, and I'll get into the reason why, okay? Let's talk about his um, play last season, okay? What did he put up? Well, he had 24 TDs and 12 INTs, okay? Two to one, 66% uh, completion percentage. Again, the 12 interceptions, 421 rushing yards, 3,223 passing yards. And the important thing to remember, he did not play a full season. He only played in 14 games. So... Moving on to this year, what are the expectations for Mitch Trubisky? Well, here's the thing. When you compare him to other guys like a Jared Goff, like a Dak Prescott, guys in year three, there hasn't been that much of a difference. I mean, Jared Goff's touchdowns did go up. Dak Prescott's touchdowns did go up a little bit. But in some cases, the, the interception totals went back up, okay? Or they were higher than year two. So going into year three... It's not as big of a leap as year two. Uh, that's why a lot of people are higher on Baker Mayfield because he's going into year two. A lot of people are higher on Sam Darnold, who's also going to year two. Year three, now it's time for Mitch Trubisky to build on the breakout season and keep improving, okay? So taking a look at the role that he's going to play on the Bears compared to last season. I mean, we got rid of Jordan Howard. Uh, we drafted a running back, and we added a few running backs, you know, in guys like Mike Davis. Um, we also have uh, Montgomery, David Montgomery, who we drafted. So in terms of the role of Trubisky, the team hasn't really changed much around him. We still have our receivers in Allen Robinson, who I expect to have a big, big year. Taylor Gabriel still there. Anthony Miller, I expect to have a phenomenal year. We still have... Uh, Guys like Trey Burton, really, it's the running back position that's that changed. All the other skill positions stayed the same. So the continuity uh, going into another year with Matt Nagy's offense. Remember, last year was his first year in Matt Nagy's offense. Let's extrapolate this out to a full 
16 game season. So I'm going to assume, obviously, Mitch plays a full 16 game season. And if I do assume that, what do my numbers look like? Let's do two scenarios here. I'm going to do a realistic and then I'm going to do a pro best case. Okay. And again, I use best case lightly because I mean, some people have predicted Mitch to throw for 40 touchdowns. So again, I, I see that type of potential in Mitch Trubisky, but I don't want to go overboard here. Okay. In terms of me being realistic, comparing his numbers last year, and then looking at the fact that how do I see the Bears faring out? Um, we do have a much harder schedule this year. I believe we've got the fifth toughest schedule in the entire NFL. And that tends to happen when you have an easy schedule last year. We did have an easy schedule last year, folks. Let's not deny it. But the good part is we have a tougher run defense schedule than a pass defense, pretty much. So if Mitch makes, you know, the right, uh, you know, progression, he still won't face that many, you know, uh, strong passing uh, defenses. So let's see with realistic, you can probably assume Mitch throws, you know, a few more touchdowns and, you know, maybe one more interception, but you can probably assume 27 TDs to 13 interceptions could be realistic. Again, we're adding the 16 games here, so we can't forget that. At the pace Mitch was on last year, this is assuming that he makes just a natural progression, okay? We can go from like 27 to even 28, but somewhere around this and then maybe like 11 to 13, okay? That's where he was last year. We don't expect it to change too much, okay? In terms of the best case scenario for Mitch, I mean, if we want to talk about can Mitch explode into an elite quarterback, obviously we have to look at 30 plus TDs, right? That That has to be the case. Now, the one thing I will say is, I do think as the touchdowns go up for Mitch Trubisky, I do believe the interceptions will go up. So I, I think for him, we're talking maybe like 15 interceptions if he does throw more touchdowns. And the only reason I say that is because it was rookie year. He had seven TDs, seven INTs. Uh, obviously, the touchdowns, uh, the interceptions went up the second year as well. So they could go up as the touchdowns go, which is fine. I'm not like, you know, I don't hate the fact that uh, you know, just because the quarterback has a lot of interceptions, he's awful. No, there's a lot of times where the interceptions don't tell the whole story. But for Mitch to make this leap to a best-case scenario, we're going to be looking for him to become that elite, elite guy. I'm talking 30 to 32 TDs. And, you know, obviously, if if he can do from 10 to 15 interceptions, that's more so of a best-case scenario for Mitch Trubisky. I mean, best-case, again, I use it very lightly because of the fact that best case, you know, he could pop up. I'm not saying he has a Mahomes type of season, but you get my point. So this is sort of a picture of what Mitch's numbers could look like. So where do I have Mitch's final stat line at? And I'm going to go with this. I compare Mitch a lot to Jared Goff, not in terms of the similar quarterback and play style, if you will, but more so both have two head coaches that are kind of extensions of themselves in Sean McVay and Matt Nagy, both are offensive gurus, offensive geniuses, and we've seen both quarterbacks play to shoot up under those respective head coaches. So just real quick, taking a look at Jared Goff's numbers. I mean, first year under uh, Sean McVay, he had 28 TDs to seven interceptions. And then second year, you, he went to 32 uh, TDs to 12 INTs. You're telling me Mitch can't come close to that? I believe Mitch Trubisky's got more physical tools than Jared Goff. He is very capable of this. So to me, final stat line for Mitch could look something like this. 4,000 plus yards passing. I think easily, again, this is extrapolating out to a 16-game season. He plays a full year assuming that. 4,000 plus yards passing. I really want to say about 4,200 really uh, for Mitch. And we're talking 30 TDs and 13 INTs. I know you guys might be thinking, Fives, that's, you know, a little rich. No, I think he can absolutely do it. Touchdowns will come in galore because I believe Allen Robinson will have a big year. Anthony Miller will have a big year. Honestly, I wanted to go to 32, but I'm going to stick with 30. And I do think the interceptions go up just because of the fact that he's going to throw more, play more games. And you know, obviously interceptions happen and, and that's fine. And I want Mitch to take those chances, but I do see 
uh, progress here. Completion percentage, I do believe it stays around the same. So I'm just going to say about 67%, maybe it improves a little bit. And then uh, rushing yards, you can probably assume that Mitch averages about 450, somewhere around that. You know, he's a very good scrambling quarterback. So this is kind of what you can expect from Mitch right here. Um, and I do believe he is going to be headed for another Pro Bowl season because to me, as long as I believe in Matt Nagy being there, I will also believe in Mitch Trubisky. So there you have, folks. This is me predicting Mitch Trubisky's stat line. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with these numbers. Leave a comment down below predicting what you think Mitch Trubisky's stat line will look like this upcoming season. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.